Hi, welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds. Right, I'm back with a normal sized puzzle <laughs> this week. I have um, a 1000 piece puzzle for you today, but um, it's going to be no less challenging. Well, it might be a slightly less challenging. I don't know. It's a different kind of challenge when you're doing a humongous puzzle versus a smaller puzzle with a quirk to it. And that puzzle is this puzzle here. It is a Ravensburger puzzle. Now I'm told that's the correct way to pronounce it, uh, but I've said Ravensburger my whole life. <laughs> so if I, if I say Ravensburger, then it's just force of habit. But anyway, it's uh, one of their puzzles and it's 1000 pieces, as I said, and it's one of their challenge uh, series of puzzles. And this particular one is a Super Mario challenge puzzle. So I'll show you a close up of the box image. Basically, it's covered in Mario's and punctuated only by a few Princess Peaches and uh, Yoshi's and Luigi's. So there are splashes of other colours aside from red and blue, which I think is going to help, but mostly it's just lots and lots and lots of Mario's. So it's kind of one of those sort of impossible style puzzles, which I have done before, not done one quite like this, but you know, I've done similar. So hopefully I will be up to the challenge. I don't really have a strategy just looking at it. I think this is going to be one that kind of comes together as I go along, but uh, I will obviously take you through it as always. I wanted to do this puzzle because this puzzle was a gift. A very good friend sent it to me a very special friend, and they also have a copy of this puzzle, uh, but they've not done it yet. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do with it. I wanted to get to do it because, you know, it's Christmas and it's the time of gifts and things. So I thought it'd be a good one to do. And I've just been really looking forward to doing it as well. I'm a big Nintendo fan. I love Mario and I just think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to just dive into this. Uh, I will unbox it, but it's not going to be much different to the usual kind of Ravensburger box set up but as I say I'll unbox it just now and I will um well I will definitely be sorting I can tell you that much at least about the strategy I need some sort of organization for this but how I'll sort it I'm not quite sure yet but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it in the meantime I really do hope you enjoy let's get the cellophane off this cool looking puzzle So I love the red box, obviously red because of Mario. Actually, looking at this image a bit closer, it's not as jam packed with Mario's as it might first appear. There's a lot of just kind of just red background, which is obviously supposed to make it harder because there's a lot of red on Mario. But, you know, looking at it a bit closer, it's maybe not quite as cluttered as I at first thought. But I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to start it. Let's just get the lid off right let's open these pieces and pull them out these are good looking Ravensburger pieces just like in the last Ravensburger I did which was my 2000 piece universal puzzle uh, really dark blue backing cardboard, quite big pieces, like pieces just slightly on the big side. Um, I would imagine there'll be a lot of dust, like in that universal puzzle, but this doesn't really bother me. Yeah, there's quite a lot accumulated already. So I'm just going to rummage around a bit. Don't see any pieces stuck together, which is good. Not normally a massive issue with Ravensburger, in fairness. Obviously there's a lot of red in here, but that also means that the other colours stand out. The yellow of Peach's hair, green of Yoshi, and on Luigi. I can obviously pick out edge pieces. They're an obvious kind of shape to sort into. So I think because um, it's a thousand piece puzzle, normally I would maybe use a, sh a shuffle kind of method to pick up the pieces in this puzzle and start to put them together. But because of the, the nature of the puzzle being a bit chaotic and 
it's sort of intent to be one of these impossible style puzzles, I'm going to sort and I'm, I'm going to sort out obvious colours that are other than Mario colours, pinks, greens, yellows. I'll sort out edge pieces and then um, not sure from there. I'm going to just start with that and and then I'll take it from there. It may well be that I'll do some shape sorting right at the start. It might well be that I sort out Mario pieces like Mario's face, Mario's hat, his buttons on his dungarees. I might I might sort kind of more detailed in that way, but I don't know yet. I'm just going to do an initial sort to start with and then start to build and see how I go from there. But I'm really looking forward to the challenge of this. I think it's going to be so much fun. So without further ado, let's get this puzzle going. Right, so it was a fairly straightforward sort, aside from the cat deciding to lie on top of my box of pieces. Um, but after I'd fixed that out, I managed to sort into the following piles. Peach pieces, which were all the pinks and the yellows. Luigi pieces, which were the sort of the darker greens. Yoshi pieces, which was kind of lighter greens. I did end up separating the Mario pieces into his face, his gloves, and his dungarees and shoes. And oh, of course, I also sorted the edges as well. And it turned out I was right about the dust. There was a fair bit of it. And I wrote an M for Mario in it. I've done the edge, but I've obviously missorted a few. I have must have chucked them in other piles because I've got a few edge pieces missing. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm not going to kind of hunt through. I'm just going to put them in as I find them. And I'm going to start off with the most obvious piles of pieces. And they are the Yoshi pieces, the Luigi pieces, and the Peach pieces. Now, we've obviously got a few Peaches here at the edge and Yoshi's. And there's some Luigi's at the top. So maybe try and work out from the edge um, and build up any of the other ones that are in the middle. And then I will try and place them in the puzzle using the box image. And then it will be a case of working on these Mario piles, which are faces, uh, kind of dungarees and shoes and hands. And I'll go through that when I get to it. <laughs> quite sure what my strategy is going to be yet they are obviously the biggest piles but how I choose to manage them I'm not entirely sure yet so without further ado I'm going to just get on with the peach the Luigi and the Yoshi pieces just now <music> Thank you. 
Okay, so all the obvious areas are now filled in. I found one of the edge pieces, this one here. Uh, I've still got one missing there and one missing at the top, but I've done all the peaches, of which there are two types. One where she's standing there with her hands on her face because Mario is bowing to her, and another where she's kissing Mario on the cheek. We've got all the Yoshis, and all the Yoshis seem to be the same. They're all standing in the same position. Two of them are attached to the bottom, so they're easy to place. One's attached to the side. So this one is the only one left. That definitely goes in the middle. The peaches, apart from the ones that are attached to the bottom, I've placed them where I've found one in the puzzle, but I don't know if it's the right one. So I don't know if that one should be there or if it should be there, and I'll eventually need to swap them around. I've just left them where they are just to orient myself, really. And the same with these... Um, Luigi's where they are looking a bit shocked so I was a little bit bamboozled as to my next part of the plan because I kind of thought it would come to me once I'd done all these bits but it didn't really so I had I stopped and had a wee look at the image and I decided that even though this pile of pieces is the biggest. This is mostly Mario's um, face and hat. Even though it's the biggest, I think I'm going to do a resort on it. And I'm going to aim to try and pick out pieces where there are like large parts of brown hair. Because there are one or two Marios on here and Luigi's um, where they're not wearing the hat. Like, for example, here where he's bowing down to Peach. And the hair pieces are quite obvious. You can differentiate them between like the hair and say the shoes which are also brown so i thought maybe i'd go through them pick out a few bits like that because they're only going to be on certain marios and they're going to be on marios that are near to peach and i might find some of the luigi pieces where he's not got his hat on and also mario's hair is quite evident here as well where he's got his back to you so i was thinking i might look through and see if i can find areas like that as well just try and pick out some of the more standout ones and then just narrow the pieces down that way so look for example there's one where that's the back of his head uh so i found three already there's another one there another one there so I'm going to go through and just resort and look for pieces like that and any that el any others that jump out at me really like ones where he's looking directly sideways like that one most of them are sort of forward on but there's one or two that are just sort of directly right or directly left where I can where I can try and find them and slot them in and if they are near to other characters that I've already built like near to a peach or near to a Yoshi that's a bonus because I can then kind of fit it into the wider puzzle instead of having lots of floating pieces because I hate I hate building puzzles that way where there's just loads and loads of floating pieces <laughs> it just it, ugh, it messes with my sense of order so um I'm going to try and do that just now and I will take it from there who knows where I'll go from there but that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Okay, so that sort that was initially just to look for hair pieces, it turned into kind of a sort of all the pieces and I was just picking out um, a few different things. So I'll just take you through through those now. So one, so these are the pieces where there's a lot of hair. They're the ones I found of those. These pieces at the bottom here are ones I spotted. Um, you can see better on a piece like this. Basically, I noticed that Luigi has a very slightly different shade of blue on his dungarees. It's just a little bit darker and you can see it here because his dungarees are right beside Mario's and Mario's are lighter in colour. You can also see it on this piece. That's Mario's there at the edge and then there's a little bit of Luigi's in the background. I wasn't sure if some of it was kind of shadowing at first but it's not it isn't that. So I also went through and found a whole bunch of those with Luigi's dungarees on. These ones are ones where Mario is pulling a specific facial expression. So where he's got this mouth here is the Mario that's being pushed by Luigi that you can see there. I only found two of those. There should be more, but I only found a couple. But anyway, that's that. 
other areas where he has a mouth similar to that are where he's being kissed by Peach. And you can actually just see her hand on this puzzle piece here. Um, but on those pieces, he's also kind of leaning sideways and he's got this um, wide-eyed uh, look about him as well. So I've pulled out any that I think might be those Marios. Uh, some of them may not be. These aren't. Some some of them may just be ones where they're just sort of facing front, like this one. I'm not convinced that that's necessarily a one that's being kissed by Peach, but that's what those pieces are anyway. These ones here are ones where he's bowing to Peach. Uh, they're literally the only ones where he's got his eyes closed. All the rest, he's got his eyes open. And these ones here are all ones where he's looking directly sideways. And there are two Marios that are looking sideways there's one where it looks like he's standing to attention there and he's got his hands by his sides and there's another one where he's kind of marching along and they're both kind of got similar um angle to the hat and the mouth's closed on both of them and so i've just picked out ones that i can differentiate as much as i can and i'll try and get all of these in and then i will go through the pieces again and look for something else I can maybe I can maybe uh, use to narrow down the pieces but I'm going to start I think with these uh, dungaree pieces Luigi's dungarees and see if I can kind of maybe um, fill out Luigi a bit So once I put in all the pieces I'd already sorted out, my initial plan was to try and keep making the Peach, Yoshi and Luigi sections bigger. And I was wanting to do that by focusing specifically on Mario's that were standing nearby. And a lot of the ones nearby had, they were punching the air. So Mario has his white gloved fist right beside his face. So I was looking through the face pieces to find pieces like that where he has his glove next to his face. And I also went through some of the glove pieces as well to find those. But what ended up happening was, instead of just pulling those pieces out, I just pulled out loads of Mario face pieces and built up a few around the puzzle instead of kind of focusing on those specific Marios. And I don't know, I think somewhere along the line, the plan just changed. And although I did look through the gloves pile as well, and I did focus on gloves a little bit, that pile really wasn't going down and I just kept getting drawn back to the faces pile of pieces. And so eventually I just I just sort of rolled with that as the plan and um, I left the gloves and I worked on Mario faces instead. So that's why you can see whole rows of the Mario faces along the bottom of the puzzle and also at the side of the puzzle. Um, I just decided just to um, work specifically on the face pile of pieces and get those right down. Right, this is by far the most satisfying part of doing this puzzle. Now, since I've got together so many of the Mario faces, I just had got to the point where some of these little sections had got big enough that I was able to actually place all of the Marios that were over here into the puzzle and actually slot them in. There aren't many loose parts now. I think I've just got one there. I know it goes there, so I'm happy to leave it there, but I think all the rest are actually attached in some way. Now it's still very gappy, but that has filled out a lot. And it's just so satisfying getting them in. So now I've got all these still. And 
Um, I've still got these that need a kind of attaching and I've still got a bunch in there. So my plan now, I'm really just going to do a tidy up exercise now. I'm going to try and get as many of these in as I can, put as many of these into the puzzle as I can and those. And then what I'll try and do is pick out, now these are mostly shoes and dungarees and they're mostly gloves, but there are one or two bits in these piles underneath this piece of paper that still have little bits of Mario's hat and ears and, you know, face and things. So I'm going to try and tidy up as much as I can. And then once I've done that and I've largely got rid of all these pieces, I'll only really have those two piles left. And then I'm going to shape sort and I'm going to just fill in the gaps because these gaps are getting small enough now to do some shape sorting and I think find the pieces pretty quickly. it's done i actually did it and i'm so so pleased i really do feel a sense of achievement it was hard it was a hard puzzle i actually i thought it was going to be easier than it was and i know it sounds a bit daft because it doesn't look like an easy puzzle but i kind of felt like it had enough of other colors on it and spread out enough that I would be able to fill in the gaps relatively easily. And to a certain extent, that was true, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Really, the thing, I'd, I had no idea, it was a bit unpredictable, the, the process with this. I had no idea what I was going to do next. I was just, I was sort of going for a plan and then found I was doing other things as I was trying to carry out the plan. So like, for example, I was looking for like gloves, and things like that or I was looking for other things and I ended up keep getting drawn back to the faces to all the Mario faces and I think it just became a process of once all the peaches and Luigi's and that were in it just became a process of putting together as many of the Mario faces as I could according to which way he was looking or which way his head was tilted or what his facial expression was and then when I had a whole bunch of them I was just kind of checking in with the box image and seeing where the different ones of that type were and then trying to place them wherever I could put them in, I would put them in. And then the more the puzzle grew, 
the more I was able to put in. And so the process got faster. So there was actually one really satisfying point in the puzzle where all the faces were just going in, like bang, 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 bang. I was just getting them in and it was moving really fast. And I was like, oh, this is brilliant. And I really did enjoy it. It was like, I kind of just got over that wall, like over that hill where I was just sort of slow, 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 slow. And then it was just like, bam, and all the faces were going in. It was really, really satisfying. So I just loved it. I loved every minute. I didn't find it frustrating at all. There were times when I slowed down, but I didn't find it frustrating. I know there are Ravensburger challenge puzzles that I think will definitely be harder than this one. I've seen a few different ones, but one that springs to mind is one with all Star Wars stormtroopers all over it, and there's barely any colour differential in that at all. Not like this with all the peaches and things like that, so... <sighs> I'm gonna stay clear of that one. I think that one probably would have been frustrating. Possibly, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try it one day. But anyway, um, I didn't find that with this. I thought this was really, really good and doable. Without being too easy, it definitely offered the challenge that, you know, it states on the box. What else, what else can I say about it? I found that the shape sorting at the end wasn't tedious or laborious either. Um, I had, you know, kind of all the standard shape pieces set aside and all the other ones just went in really fast. Um, and there was really not much deliberation over it. Once I was at that point, it just, it just came together really, really nicely. So it was a really satisfying puzzle to do and I really enjoyed it. I had such great fun with it. I'd like to say thank you um, to the person who bought me this puzzle. Yeah, I look forward to seeing how you do with this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, th I think otherwise I've not got much more to say about it. My next video is going to be the Christmas video. Yay! Um, I've got some beautiful uh, Christmas puzzles that I'm going to do and I really can't wait to do those. So tune in for that next time. And in the meantime, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and support the channel. And you'll see more awesome videos like this and uh, more on my giant puzzles and all of that. So thank you so much. I will see you next time for Christmas. And in the meantime, happy puzzling. One thing I forgot to do, uh, the puzzle pickup challenge. I think this puzzle will pick up. I've picked up a 2000 piece uh, Ravensburger. Um, I know I've forgotten to say it like that several times in this video. <laughs> I remembered sometimes too. So a puzzle pick up on a 1000 piece uh, Ravensburger puzzle. Let's see how this goes. Ready, steady, boop. Yay. It's, I can see the back of it and it's looking a little bit loose. So I'm just going to put it down, but that survived the puzzle pick up quite well. Um, so yeah, another thumbs up for Ravensburger.